don't know why, but I feel like a, a proper criminal doing that. I'm sure it's illegal. I can see home for the night. Wow, a wee one. We are using cameras to capture images of vehicle number plates. This car park is patrolled. <laughs> yes, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another stealth camping video. So before all of that, I'm going to go for a walk with a friend down in the countryside, get my dose of nature and greenery. The weather today bit cloudy, bit gloomy, but at least it's not raining, which makes a change. I'll whack the drone up and show you a few shots and a few clips of where I'll be walking today. And then later on, we will head on to tonight's stealth camp spot. say what an absolute stunning day here in the UK the Sun was out the weather was nice and warm ish for spring this time of year I actually think I've caught a bit of Sun underneath my eyes on my face and I'm slightly burnt which obviously goes to show you how pasty white and British I really am anyway right now to finish off what has been a great day so far I thought why not top it off with a nice juicy stealth camp. So I've decided tonight's location, we are gonna be going back to another supermarket. And again, a very popular and big one here in the UK, and that is Sainsbury's. Oh, Jesus Christ. The police are just on my left, and there I am with a camera talking to it. I can see home for the night. Wow, a wee one. That looks like a huge Sainsbury's. Oh, awesome, they've got petrol here. There's a fresh kitchen, an Argos, a Habitat, a two. No idea what that is. Before we do a scouting mission, I'm gonna fill up some fuel. Let's get 25 on the dot today, come on. Oh, so close. Right, the tank is filled up and I've just realized they've got free air and water at the back there. So I'm gonna save myself 80p instead of having to buy a bottle of water inside Sainsbury's. I'm just gonna go and fill up from the free water. What's that saying? Look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. That's the one. Oh, you're joking. Don't say it comes out that slowly. That's gonna take ages. This is ridiculous. Come on, baby, we're almost there. Whoa. God, thank God that's done. Time for a scouting mission around this Sainsbury's. One of the main things that I'm looking for when I stay in places like this is to try and get away from all of the street lights to obviously hide myself a bit and make it less obvious that I'm gonna be sleeping in the car park and cooking God knows what and causing all sorts of noise. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no light there, that is nice. I think there's a sign here about parking. Let's just have a read what it says. Okay, so it says there, maximum stay three hours, no return within one hour, 
This is a camera controlled car park with three hours free parking for customers. We are using cameras to capture images of vehicle number plates and to calculate the length of stay. This car park is patrolled. Please observe the following conditions to avoid parking notice of £70. Well tonight I've actually got a little bit of a plan and an idea to avoid the parking fine. The game plan now is to go into the Sainsbury's and what I'm going to do, hopefully I think they should sell some kind of tape and I have no idea if this is illegal, I assume it is, I'm going to cover up my number plate so I don't get the three hour parking fine. And then what I'll have to do is probably leave the car park, go and cover it up, tape it up somewhere outside of here so the cameras have captured me coming in, then they'll capture me going out, and then I'll come back in with a covered up number plate and I should be golden, I believe anyway. Where is tape? Ah, I think we may have found it. I need something black though. I need like masking tape. Scratch brown packaging tape. That could do the job. I preferably wanted some black tape to blend in with the number plate. That should do the trick. And £1.25. Chicken gyozo, nice. I might treat myself to that. Happy days. £4.95 for that. Are you joking? Bloody Nora. Oh, oh God. Oh, what? Was it? Oh, you're joking me, not again. This car does confuse me sometimes. Sometimes I can open the door with my key, sometimes I can't. Sometimes the alarm goes off. I honestly do not know. I'm gonna tuck in to tonight's starter, which is chicken gyozo. Are you joking? The bloody sushi's leaked out of it. Oh my God. Oh my God, I hope that's not gone on my bed. Oh no. Please say I haven't got soy sauce all over my bed. That's how much soy sauce I have left. Literally nothing. Mm, mm, mm. That Sainsbury's is awesome. It's massive. It literally sells everything. Clothes, bras, knickers, you name it. This Sainsbury's in Epsom has it. Oh shit, I'm going down fucking one way. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Luckily, nobody was coming the other way. I've just seen a very nice spot with a bush behind it. If anyone else does any stealth camps, I would recommend trying to get some kind of object in front or behind your car just to cover up the spaces and the views at which people can see you okay so where i've decided to come is pretty much as far back into the car park you literally can't even see because it's that dark i do apologize but as far back into the car park as possible because right here i have a bush which you can just about make out which means that there's only one walking path to get past my car but I assume most people probably won't come this way so when I'm cooking inside because I don't have curtains for the front not many people are really going to be able to see in that's the click and collect grocery bit god knows what that actually is and then the petrol station is just there main entrance to the Sainsbury's there and then the car parked just where that car is driving out Ah, I need to spin the chair around, but first of all, I'm gonna get these windows covered up. Just got the window covers on. Gonna turn this chair around, move that chair forward, 
just to give me a bit of extra room for my feet when I go to sleep. And then we're pretty much all set and then we can cook some dinner. Having checked online, this Tesco's, uh, not Tesco's, oh my God, Sainsbury's, I'm so sorry I offended you. This Sainsbury's closes at 10 p.m., which is only 25 minutes. So hopefully all these cars that are here will be staff and they'll be going home pretty soon. And I assume they'll leave the street like some. Anyway, half nine and I've not even eaten dinner. Only those gyozos, gyozos, however you pronounce it, to start. So let's get this pasta on the go. This is the water that took about three hours to fill up earlier. Happy days. Got some spinach and ricotta tortellini and then some Spanish salami and then of course some mascarpone sauce. This is literally my go-to meal when I'm not particularly hungry and I just want something easy and quick to cook up. I'm gonna cook it like this just because I can't be bothered to crouch over with my back breaking as I try to cook on the bed. And look, there's not really too many people around. If it does close up in 25 minutes, then these could be staff cars. So if anybody comes, I can just close the door and no one will see what's going on. Gonna whack in a couple of bits of salami, just tear it up and then it goes. Ah! Don't boom! Okay, whoa! I think dinner. Oh no, I just got bloody mascarpone sauce everywhere. I think dinner is served. Okay, we are in. This is a very, very late dinner. 21.54, so five to 10 in the evening. I'll probably be going to bed in half an hour. I won't be able to with a full stomach like this. Oh no, come on. Ugh. If there's one food that I can't live without, it's cheese. I'm not a fan of the cheeses that smell and taste like feet like blue cheese here we go bon appetit that is a hefty hefty bowl of tortellini and salami i don't know if i'm going to be able to eat all of this to be honest that is a lot of food my fast metabolism has done me well up to 26 years old but if i keep eating portion sizes like this i'm not going to be able to control the way my gut grows i have to say not my favorite meal i've cooked in here I know it's extremely simple, but in the past, I've fried off the salami just to make it a little bit crispy, bring out a bit more flavor. But tonight, I literally just ripped it up straight from the packet and put it in here, and it doesn't taste anywhere near as good. Dude, this place is jumping for a little mountain town. Oh my God. So many people here. I tell you what, there's just no comparison to doing car camping compared to the US. I'm sure many of you guys watch a guy called Mav and I'm just watching his video where he's winter truck camping using hand warmers for heat and he wakes up in Colorado with incredible mountain views with trees absolutely just covered in snow and here I am stealth car camping in bloody Sainsbury's. Christ, what am I doing? I need to get myself to the US. Look at that. Dang. What? All of the staff are just on their way home. 
security guard just walked past here and up that footpath. Tell me what, it is getting a little bit nippy. It's five degrees. So I'm gonna plug my sleeping bag into the jackery just to warm it up in here a bit. Anyway guys, I'm gonna head off to bed because it's now almost 11 o'clock. I'm pretty tired, it's been a good day. It was really nice to get out into nature, get out into the open space. And now I'm in a completely open Sainsbury's car park. So all round, a very good day. Good morning all. Not my best sleep, it has to be said. I feel like I'm saying that in pretty much every video. I don't always sleep great in the car, but some nights I sleep really well. But last night I slept very lightly, if that makes any sense. I woke up to pretty much any noise and my mind again was playing a few tricks on me because I thought I could hear all these things going on outside, but really there was nothing. I realized halfway through the night when I was trying to sleep that I made one rookie rookie mistake as a stealth camper and that mistake is where i've parked is the exit road and also the entry road into the sainsbury's so anybody coming in or out of the car park has to drive past my car so this morning and in the middle of the night i could even hear quite a few cars coming in and out constantly and because i was sleeping you know as a light sleeper last night i could pretty much hear all of the cars i should have moved to be honest but I was just feeling too lazy and I thought that I'd be able to sleep through it. What an absolutely beautiful morning it is. Oh man, the sun is out. Feel that on my skin, glorious. Right, breakfast has been acquired. Just a couple of pan au Probably my favorite continental French breakfast to have. Goodbye to Sainsbury's. What a pleasant stay it's been. I'm sure I'll see you again in the future. Fingers crossed, I shouldn't be expecting a 70 pound fine in the next couple of weeks. But make sure to follow me on Instagram at Will's Whereabouts because what I'll do, if I do get a fine, I will uh, share it on Instagram, do a quick little story, and uh, people will be able to know if I got the fine or not. I'm gonna finish the video here, eat up my pan of chocolates. I hope you guys enjoyed joining me on yet another supermarket stealth camp, but this time, the big old Sainsbury's. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day trying to enjoy as much of the sun as I possibly can. As always, I will catch you next week with another video. Stay stealthy, stay classy, and just stay happy. Ciao, ciao.